Tiana was celebrating at homecoming when she got a call about her Shih Tzu puppy, Lola. Did you bring Lola in, please? My mom called because Lola was acting different and pawing at her face. Lola seems like she's in some sort of pain. Oh, my. OK, what's going on with Lola today? She has something in her mouth, and okay. I'm pretty sure it's a stick. I was at school, so okay. I'm guessing <laughs> she chews on sticks a lot. I know you don't want me to do that, but stop. Lola. OK, we're going to give her a tranquilizer because I can't get anything done the way she is. That's fine. Now that Lola is a little more relaxed, Dr. Brenda can finally look in her mouth. A sharp mouth on that one side. Yeah. OK, and I don't see anything. There's nothing in there anywhere. Under sedation, we did a full exam and didn't find much of anything as far as there was no foreign materials. They're all still in the process. That one's loose. But what I did find was Lola has a loose premolar. It's moving quite a bit. I think this is probably causing her some pain. Uh, some of the little dogs do not have a whole lot of pain tolerance. So what I'm going to do is we're going to give sure, her a sure. reverser, and I'm going to give her some Rumidol just for pain today if she's those teeth are bothering her. What do you think, huh? Are you awake? Sort of. I know. We looked, and all I see in here is she's getting ready to change her baby teeth. And one of her premolars in the back is really loose on the left side, and that may have been the whole thing. I am very relieved that it's not anything that could hurt her. She's a little bit slower than normal. Thankfully, it's nothing more than a case of stubborn baby teeth. Now, she may be a little quiet today, but I don't see a problem with you taking her home and letting her just hang out at home while you go back and finish school.